Though I'm sure most of you are aware by now, but if you're not, I'm dead. No, not in a physical sense, no. I died and lost everything in my Minecraft hardcore world that I've had for three years. Totaling up to 4,382 Minecraft days survived before losing it all. That's a pretty good run for a first time hardcore run if I say so myself. However, I'm not 100% sure that I even deserved death at that point in time. I actually wonder if I died to a very small lag spike. For those who haven't seen it, let's roll the clip again. I think I need to get in there. Right, get in the boat. Get in the boat. Why didn't it just get in the boat? Ow, that hurt! I need to get out. No! No! Now there's quite a few things going on here. So to give you some context, I was trying to build a trap in my gold farm so that I could give my viewers a bit of a jump scare when they explore my world download that I was going to release for episode 75 of my Let's Play series. I'm currently wearing a netherite helmet, leggings, boots, and an elytra, and all of the armor has protection 4. Now you might be thinking at this point, whoa! All that armor and that baby zombie piglin did that much damage to you? Yes, and that's what I expected to happen. That baby zombie piglin was going to be part of the trap that I was designing, and I'd made it as overpowered as possible. It too was wearing enchanted netherite gear, and was wielding a netherite sword with both sharpness 5 and fire aspect 2. That's why it did so much damage to me with one hit. Four and a half hearts in fact, and I'm okay with that. I made it that powerful, and I suffered the consequences. No, the part that I'm not so sure of is what happens next. I tried to fly away using a normal Firework 1 rocket, and in doing so, died to kinetic energy. This was despite the fact that I had fully enchanted netherite armor and still had five and a half hearts to cling on to dear life for. That's a lot of damage to suddenly take from kinetic energy. So how did I manage to take that much damage and die? Well, my main issue starts when I used my rocket to fly away. I suffered from a small lag spike, probably due to the fact that the game was overlaying a giant fire animation on my screen, and I'm aware that that can have an impact on the game's performance. Now the next frame I'm able to see, I've somehow already impacted a block to lose two hearts of my remaining health, leaving me with a mere three and a half hearts left. At this point, I would normally consider myself to be in serious danger, and I would have done something about it if I had just a little bit more time. But I wasn't even able to register that first impact because literally two frames later, I'm dead! At the time, I genuinely believed that I'd lost all five and a half hearts of my remaining health from one impact. Now here's the thing, taking into account all the armor that I have on, doesn't five and a half hearts from one rocket seem like a lot to you? Because it does to me! And I've tested this quite a bit since then. No matter what I do, I cannot take five and a half hearts on purpose. In which case, how did I die? Well, I think it goes back to that small lag spike that I suffered. I believe that that lag spike created a small desync between the client and the server. Which, interestingly enough, that is a thing for single player worlds. I know, I know, it's weird. Anyway, I don't have the best understanding of this kind of technical stuff, and the desync probably wasn't even that much. But I do believe that the desync meant that the game thought that I was moving faster than what I should have been. And thus, upon experiencing two impacts that I could never have had the reaction time to avoid, it decided to kill me. Just like that. The game decided to screw me over and make me lose everything that I had worked so hard to achieve. Ugh. That really sucks. What a shame. Now I don't want to be someone who makes excuses for things going wrong, because there's also definitely a lot that I could have done to survive this. One neat little thing about kinetic energy in this game is that flying straight upwards into blocks means that you take zero damage. So I could have just flown straight up. I could have also run up my little staircase of blocks and glided over the wall. I reckon I could have outrun the loose zombie piglin that way and could have escaped without even taking damage. I could have also taken out an ender pearl in preparation and thrown it over the iron wall as soon as I placed the boat. But the most glaringly obvious way to survive this dangerous encounter is to not enter into it in the first place. I simply wanted a boat on the floor that I couldn't quite reach. There was nothing stopping me from bridging out a couple of blocks over the floor, placing the boat, 
then breaking the blocks to drop it in. No threat involved, and I would still be alive today. But oh, we all love the benefit of hindsight after the fact, don't we? Anyway, thanks for listening, everyone. I hope you understand my thought process here. I'll see you later.